In this video, I'm going to show you how you can not only receive products with a barcode, but with a barcode, you can also indicate where they're located in the warehouse. Now, I have a list of products that I'm expecting on you know, a truckload or a, a shipping container or whatever. So here are the ones that I'm expecting. And so now let's say I receive this 161616. So let's go here. And this is where your barcode scanner will be set to go. And I'm going to press enter, which your barcode scanner does automatically. And instantly, you're brought to the location. Now, this is so that the forklift driver or the person in the warehouse, all he has to do is scan the product. And then when he puts it away, he scans um, a barcode for where the location is. And so in this warehouse, let's say that the section is uh, the number one and then the letter B. And so I press enter again. And there we have um, our 1616. And it's this is the day that it, we got it on. And this is the location in the warehouse. Now, the other sheet that we have is an outgoing sheet. So anything that we have received, it's going to, if it comes in, it's going to go out. And so one more time. The people that are in the warehouse, all they have to do is they're going to be here and they're going to scan in the 161616 and it will tell you when, when it left. Now, um, there's also, you can either, you know, put the shipping company or the trucking company that's taking this bath pallet here, but you won't be able to scan that and obviously you'd have to write this in a notes. So let me show you how I've done it. Now, why um, I've done it on two different pages is receiving the barcode um, automatically to, to set up. It has to be separate pages for it to do it. So if we go right click on the, um, the sheet tab and we go view code, you can see that it says um, private sub by change target if a not intersect B2 is nothing, then call access and application enable and that's true and then end sub. Now, um, same thing happens if I right click on my location. So for the first um, for the first sheet on the barcode, it goes to um, it, it calls access. And the second one, if we right click on this one, we can see that it's B2 again, and it's calling a program called location. And the third one on the outgoing, if we right click on this and we view the code, we can see that this calls um, this this calls the application leaving when the, there's something in there. So now let's go look at all these three different pieces of code. And so here we go. Um, here's our access. So it uh, it basically declares some value here, and it um, then it says if there's nothing in um, cells uh, two two, which is where we're scanning our barcode, then it's going to exit sub, and that's just for changes on the sheet so that it doesn't try to pull up the word at or the program access again. Now. Um, sheet three activate sheet three is our um, sheet three is sheet three is our incoming sheet. Now for rows four to end row that we've declared up here, if sheet uh, if sheet three cells row one equals the value of barcode, then what it's going to do is it's going to put the barcode in the B column. And it's going to put the date and time in the C column. And then, then it's going to format the date and time here. And then it's going to uh, select the, the place where the location goes. And then go end if and next row. Now, after all it's done all that, then it's going to go um, sheet 5 activate. So now we're going to go on to our next sheet here. And if there's a barcode in here, it's going to go here and select this cell here. 
And then it brings up our second one. So if there's a value in there, then we're going to go to the location. And the same thing, if the sheet, uh, if sheet 2-2 two, two is not equal to blank, then sheet 3 activate range. It's going to look for in the B column for the barcode that you've just scanned in. And when you uh, scan in that, then it's going to, uh, it's going to enter the location that you put on here. Now, um, what it's going to do is it's going to clear the contents of the two cells here so it's blank. And then it's going to um, go back to the sheet three and go to B2 so you can scan in another one. Now, basically, you'd be scanning in a bunch of products. So it would be a totally different thing when you're, you know, it might be the day later or a month later, it wouldn't make any difference. You would go and you would be, you'd click on this one to scan in a, a one that was leaving. And so if we pull up the leaving, the leaving one is basically, it's just finding the barcode in the, in the sheet and then it's putting down the time, the time there. And that's as simple as that is. So I will, of course, include all of the code, as much code as I can fit in the description of my video. Please subscribe.